Hey friends, Amy Stoddard back in the kitchen with you. It's our countdown to summer. We're in five weeks to summer out of six when we kicked it off. And today I have another little prep hack for you. An incredible way to roast garlic. I've shown this before in this group, but it is so good and so amazing to have on hand roasted garlic through the summer because it just makes quick assembly of gorgeous meals and flavors in a flash. So I wanted to include it here in your six weeks countdown to summer kickoff of amazing recipes and prep hacks. And I do mine on the stove top, so it's really no fuss. You don't have to be trying to scoop it out of heads of garlic, which is gorgeous, but this is one place that I definitely cheat and I buy the pre-peeled garlic because we're roasting. Usually I don't like the flavor of this, but for cooking, I totally use it. It's a great cheat. And we need cheats, we need shortcuts. So all you do is dump that into your pot on the stove. And next I just take a very neutral oil that can handle heat so it doesn't break down in the heat and I just grabbed some sunflower oil because that's what I had on hand. You could use grapeseed oil, you could use avocado oil, I mean you could even use olive oil um, but you just want a oil that doesn't really break down <clears throat> with the heat and become less healthy for you. Okay so you want to cover your cloves completely and if you're thinking oh my gosh that's a lot of oil, well it is a lot of oil but you're not going to get greasy cloves of garlic. You're going to get beautifully roasted. We're going to drain them. We're even going to store them in this oil and then you'll have, I'm just going to empty that. You're going to have a gorgeous garlic oil, garlic infused oil. And the reason why I'm using this type of oil is also because it does not solidify in the fridge. So if you use olive oil, I would avoid it just because you are going to store this in the fridge and you don't want your oil to solidify in the fridge. So you want a, um, an oil that does not solidify. Okay. I should add a list for you of oils that don't solidify because we've talked about them a few times. All right, it's as simple as this. You're just going to add some heat. Now, this is oil, so you always want to be mindful when you're having heat around oil, especially if you have a gas stove. So definitely don't leave this unattended. And what I'm going to do, so it's a great thing to do when you have other things going on in the kitchen and you can be present. So I'm just going to bring the heat up and as soon as I start to see movement in that oil, just gentle little movement, that's when I know I want it. That's where I want to keep the heat. So I might turn it down a little bit because that residual heat's going to keep it going up. So turn it down a little bit, but you just want like a gentle kind of swirling, maybe a tiny little bit of bubbling action, very subtle. And you're going to let that happen for about 10 to 15 minutes. Watch your garlic. You want it to become golden. And right when it's kind of turning golden from that, from the sort of pale, to golden, then you can turn the heat off and just that, let that residual heat cool it, which will continue to cook it, and it'll be beautiful. I will have a before and after picture for you, of course, in our feed, but it's that simple, and it's so, so, so worth it. I'm gonna show you how I use up some of our leftovers from the previous recipes we've made this week with the roasted garlic, and make some gorgeous dips for summer in like five minutes. All right, that's it, super simple. That's how I like to keep it. Happy cooking, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.